24 hours is basically our biggest race of the year, which is our first race of the year. We have people from all walks of life, all over the world. It's always an awesome pleasure to be at Daytona. It's an honor, you know, it's, it's one of the biggest races in, of the year. For me, it's the biggest sports car race in the world, and it's, it's just a great pleasure to be here. It's a blast. We have young, young drivers that are just up-and-comers. We have Hurley Haywood, who's been around for years, and is just a staple with, uh, with Porsche. He's been winning races, winning championships, and just being a great ambassador for the brand of Porsche. Well, you know, Daytona is a place where I've had a tremendous amount of success. Not only I've won five overall t wins here, one class win, because this place was the very first place I ever drove a race car was here at Daytona in a regional race in 1969. To be able to get back into a 911 for this year's uh, Rolex 24 is really special because basically I started my career driving a 911. A 911 is such an iconic brand to Porsche. I mean, it is, 911 has been around since 1964. When it, made, when it came to this country in 1964, it instantly started racing. And there's so much heritage with the 911. There's so much culture. Meaning when a 911 is designed, it's, no, it's designed and put together with Le Mans 24 hour, with Daytona 24 hour, 12 hours of Sebring, and some of the other, you know, the classic races in mind. Races have kind of turned into like little miniature hour sprint races, 24 of them, and it, you're driving this stint as hard as you possibly can go, and that's a testimony to how uh, reliable and strong these cars are because they're they're getting really beat up out there, and, and guys are abusing them, and they just don't break. So uh, that's that's really great, and that's what's created this environment that makes these things almost indestructible, and that means better racing. I've driven, you know, lots of different types of Porsches during my racing career of 40 years, but it's really nice to be able to get back into a 911 and kind of do a 360-degree circle, sort of end the way I started the race, and that's driving a 911.